Hi everyone, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Happy New Year. Uh, we're gonna do a thing that we've done here for a little bit. Just super fun, making this nice and quick. Uh, I wanted to go through these predictions that we made last year. I don't know if you guys remember, but this is something that we've been doing for the last couple of years, where every year we talk about what's going to be coming up in the upcoming year. And we've also been looking back at how we did for the previous year's uh, guesses. We're somewhat decent at this sometimes, and sometimes we're really, really bad at this. So we're just going to pop right in real quick. But again, Happy New Year. I'm glad you guys are here to hang out. I figure this would be a lot easier just to do this live than to try to make a video. So that being said, let's see. Oh, also, uh, I think in the link in the description, we all, we have this year's poll. So if you're having fun looking at this poll that we're going to go through from one year ago today, be sure and vote for this year. The polls will be open for three days. So by January 4th or whatever, it will no longer be open. So that being said, let's dive right in and see how we did in 20, uh, a year ago, 2023, looking at 2023 space flight. So the first question I asked last year was, when will SpaceX's Starship slash Super Heavy launch? And 35.7% of you guessed exactly right, Q2 2023. As we know, it launched on April 20th, IFT-1, so the first integrated flight test of Starship launched on April uh, 20th, 2023. So that's Q2. Uh, so good job. I don't know how many of you voted correctly or if you remember how you voted or anything, but uh, yeah, congratulations. That was actually a surprising result that people actually, we guessed a Starship event right. That's a miracle. All right. The second one we said was when will ULA launch their Vulcan rocket for the first time? Now this one was trickier because I fully expected to see ULA launch. I would have put it, I think, I, I wish I could see my own answers, but I think I was either Q2 or for sure, second half of 2023 was my personal guess. The majority uh, of people said 46% uh, in, was, uh, or the, the, the top answer was 46% for 2023, or for second half of 2023. The correct answer, only 24.5% of you said not in 2023. I don't know. How about you guys? Uh, that's, yeah, that's not what I expected. I don't know how you guys did. Um, like I said, I, I kind of, I, I really did expect to see Vulcan fly in 2023. I fully expect to see it happen in 2024. Uh, I mean, it's, it's coming up in like a week. It's scheduled flight isn't a week. So they just barely missed 2023. I know they were really hoping for it. So, um, so, all right, let's, uh, let's keep going here. So the next one was which methane fueled rocket will successfully reach orbit? We, uh, as the Royal We as the spaceflight community was way off. <laughs> we had SpaceX's Starship will be the first fully fueled methane rocket or methane methane fueled rocket to reach orbit. Um, not only did Starship not reach orbit, it hasn't even targeted technically orbit. It's been doing, you know, suborbital, barely sub, it's such a weird orbital-ish, you know, targeted flights where it's just trying to get basically to orbital velocity, but it doesn't quite get into orbit, doesn't quite get itself into orbit by tiny by a percent or two or three percent of orbital velocity. So basically orbital um, could be orbital, but it hasn't even got close to completing that time, uh, you know, uh, profile, let alone actually getting into orbit. The correct answer for this was none of the above and not because a fully or a, a methane fueled rocket didn't make it to orbit. There was a methane fueled rocket that made it to orbit last year, and that was GQ2. It actually made it into orbit twice. Once as a test flight with with no meaningful payload, and or with a you know just a dummy payload. And the next one, it just in December I think or November, it launched again for the second time successfully deploying payloads. So GQ2 rocket, fantastic. So none of the above. 4.1 percent of you got that right, and either you're being pessimistic that none would reach it reach to orbit, or you're thinking about other rockets such as GQ2. Uh, yeah, our answer is here, St SpaceX Starship, 57.1% guess that. Uh, a lot of us thought Relativity's Terran 1 could have been a, could have been the first one to orbit had it successfully uh, launched and, and made it through its second stage burn because it made it, it would have beat juku 2s second orbital attempt. So there was a first orbital attempt. There's been three launches of juku 2 um, One was un unsuccessful. Then Relativity launched Terran 1. Then this and that did not make it to orbit either. Then the uh, the second launch of GQ2 happened and that was successful. And then 15.7% uh, said ULA's Vulcan. So yeah, but there we go. All right, uh, this is the next one was will Rocket Lab now? This is a funny one to look back on. 
Will Rocket, Rocket Lab catch, recover, and relaunch an electron booster this year? Recover the booster without it touching the water, as in catch it with a helicopter, their original plan of scooping it up out of the sky. 11.5% uh, said they'll almost catch one, which I think is where we left off in 2022. They almost caught that one and they had to let it go. I think that's where we were at in 2022, if I remember right. Uh, the majority, 63.4%, said catch and recover. Uh, which, as we know, they did not catch. They gave up on trying to catch one, basically, with the helicopter. So that's not even an option anymore, unfortunately. So catch and recover uh, is not the correct answer. Relaunch, they did relaunch an engine. They did refly a Rutherford engine, so that's cool. But not relaunching a full booster. Um, so the correct answer is nope. And 8.6% of people said nope. So... How did you guys do on that one for, I thought that was, that was decent. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. How'd you guys do? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this, keep this stream really quick. So it actually stands alone as a decent video, you know, on its own. Uh, so I probably won't be reading too many comments, but I just am curious how you guys are doing. I, I said catch and recover. I know for a fact, I was feeling quite confident in that. So, um, yeah. Let's keep going here. How many orbital launch attempts will we see in 2023 around the world? Now, last in 2022, there's 186 launches. And the correct answer was 222 orbital launch attempts uh, globally. So that means that the answer of 201 to 225 is actually correct. And you guys also got that one right with 43.3% of you saying that. 23% uh, of you were optimistic with 20, 226 to 250, and 14.7% of you were even more optimistic, saying above 250. So, yeah. Now, you know what I realized? I put this one in this year's quiz, and, you know, we're assuming that... So, SpaceX ended up launching 96 uh, Falcon 9s and orbital launch or rocket attempts... Oh, that's orbital launch attempt. gets really sticky with Starship. SpaceX launched 98 times, so however you cut it... They made up uh, nearly half the amount of launches, period. I realized, you know, next year we're looking at them launching about 40 more times potentially. So around 140-ish. That's their that's their target. And I realized, you know, I I gave us even more optimistic numbers. I think it went all, all the way up to almost 300 for next year's, you know, potential orbital launch attempts. I realized if there would happen to be if a problem with Falcon 9 where the fleet would be grounded for, you know, three months or something... That would take a huge hit on this total since it makes up so much. Uh, yeah, it makes up so much of the, the actual percentage there. Just thought that was interesting, realizing like the impact that that one rocket has on this entire orbital launch uh, thing. So, all right, the next one. Will we see a Starship or Super Heavy booster successfully land um, and, on, and on land in one piece in 2023? So as we know, neither landed nor even got to the point of being able to land, nor even splashing down. So neither is the correct answer. 31.5% of you had that, but it was technically, looks like it was tied. I don't know if we can see the exact numbers here. Uh, oh, I might've messed something up here if I do that, because then I won't, oh no. Uh, where are we? Okay. So yeah, technically they were tied with neither and both. So so pessimistic and optimistic were tied at 31.5, but it looks like neither must've had just slightly more out of the 16,500 votes. So again, make sure you're, the link is in the description to this poll if you want to be taking this for 2024. Super fun. Uh, when will we see humans fly in Boeing Space's Starliner? Current net date as of that poll in, <laughs> a year ago was April 2023. Guess what? It's currently April 2024 for a net date. This is spooky, guys. I didn't even realize that. This is, okay, so... Last year, Q2 2023 was the most optimistic option at 16.6% of you. Uh, the majority said, or the, the most people voted on th on uh, Q3 2023, so 30.7%. Q4 had 23.4 and not in 2023 was the correct answer, 29.3%. Man, I yeah, I I didn't see that one coming. I thought for sure we'd see Starliner with humans on it in 2023. Um, it just goes to show, see, I, I hear people all the time kind of ripping on either, you know, on SpaceX or Blue Origin or 
you know, other companies, Rocket Lab or something for, you know, missing a milestone. Like, oh, but we forget that, like, that is just aerospace. Everything in aerospace misses milestones. That's just simply how it works. Um, so any date I feel like you hear from any company needs to pretty much be doubled. Um, and it's funny how some people just be like, yeah, they never deliver anything on time. It's like, no one does. <laughs> no one delivers anything. This is space flight stuff. It's hard. It's really, really hard stuff. So this is how many lunar landers will successfully touch down on the moon in 2023. The majority said two. 38.4% uh, of you said two. The correct answer was one. Chandrian 3 was the only one to actually land successfully on the moon. And that's 32.2% of you had that one, right? So I think I was the optimist here. That is, uh, that would have been, yeah, I think that would have been me. I think I was at two, if I remember right. I need to, like, write these down for myself so I can actually remember. All right, what's the furthest that Ariane Space will complete with their Ariane 6 rocket? Uh, we had ship to the pad, test at the pad, launch, and none of the above. So ship to the pad, it did that, and it tested at the pad. They did do a static fire. Now, it hasn't, it wasn't quite a full duration static fire. It was darn close. It was, it was pretty, pretty good static fire test. So that is the correct answer. It did tests at the pad. So 52.3% of you had that one right. We are hoping to see that baby launch this year. All right, let's keep going. What's the furthest milestone of uh, that Blue Origin will complete with their new Glenn rocket? I know people love to, you know, really love to be pessimistic about this one <laughs> just because it's, it's taken so long. I really expect that one to change this year. I really expect this to change this year. But this one, for 2023, as we know, the correct answer was none of the above. We didn't see a ship to the pad. We didn't see a static fire, which they might not do a static fire, period. And we did not see it launch. So the correct answer was none of the above at 39.9%. Uh, will Blue Origin, I think this is the last one, will Blue Origin or Virgin Galactic fly humans again in 2023? The correct answer was actually Virgin Galactic Will, and only 11, that was the, the minority vote, the lowest vote was, was the correct answer at 11.3%. Virgin was the only one to fly humans again. They flew a lot this year with people. I think they flew six times with humans, and five of them were commercial operational flights. Uh, six powered flights, maybe even more. They might have had like seven powered flights. And five of them were commercial, like contracted not internal employees or anything. Pretty impressive, pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it, it's fun to see them uh, ramping up on that for sure. So yeah, that's it for this, for, for the last year. Again, check the link in the description. We do have, uh, we do have the poll for next year. It's, it's just for fun. This is purely for fun. And also, it's, I think it's just kind of good for us to look at this, to keep ourselves in check as the aerospace community and even those, even aerospace professionals to remember that, yeah, there are timelines, but yeah, they often are not anywhere near on time. <laughs> But that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm trying to make this really quick so it actually is just more of a video. I know that the live stream, we're here live, and I thank all of you guys for watching and hanging out. Uh, we're not going to be answering questions. We're just going to get right to it. Uh, I've got a lot of work to be doing still because we are preparing for the live Astro Awards. So the next time you'll likely see my face, I might have a time to stream one or two between there, uh, some launches. But January 13th, January 14th uh, is the Astro Awards in Austin, Texas. I hope you guys will be there. Uh, I played the Everyday Astronaut set last night for New Year's. It was so much fun. I'll be posting some videos on social media of that. Um, thanks to all those people that happened to... We had some people actually come from out of state uh, to come to that New Year's party. It was so much fun. But if you want to join, uh, and for the biggest spaceflight event of the year, for the public, you are invited. Astro Awards. Go to astroawards2024.com or just go to everydayastronaut.com slash shop. Get your tickets. You'll see Scott Manley DJ the set. Um, for the party, I'll be playing my own music live and we'll also have the band Salt Fox playing live on January 13th. Uh, and then January 14th, put it in your calendars. If you can't make it to that show, you better be watching the Astro Awards live where we will hand physical awards to people in a live awards show. So it's going to be super fun. January 14th, Austin, Texas, be there, be square. Um, that's going to do it for me guys. Thank you all so much. Again, this is just nice and quick, but we'll, we'll be out here for another one at some point in the near future. I don't know when. We'll find time to stream again soon. But wish me luck on all the stuff that we're preparing for that show. And uh, Happy New Year's, everyone. 
cheers to 2024. May uh, we see some exciting, exciting things happen in aerospace. Again, take that poll. Find the link in the description. All right. Bye, everybody.